Hi everyone. Um, I had a commenter asking about how to change up the page numbering um, in Microsoft Word so that, for example, um, your document might start actually numbering things on page, like literal page three, but it might start still with page one. So maybe the first couple of pages are either unnumbered or perhaps they're forward matter, which might have like lowercase Roman numerals or something like that attached to them. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now keep in mind that this functionality is going to be, need to be done on the native or desktop version of Word. If you're using Office, Office 365, you are not going to have this functionality. Office 365 is basically a watered down, uh, limited, functionality version of Microsoft Office Word. So um, to do this particular function, you are going to need um, the desktop version, just to let you know. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of format um, a document for us to work with. I'm just going to pretend like I'm maybe formatting a book that has a foreword in it that's going to need Roman numerals and then have um, subsequent sections that need, um, you know, our sort of Arabic numbering, you know, our usual one, two, three, four, or whatever. Okay, um, so I'm just going to sort of set up a copy and paste some paragraphs in here to give me a couple of pages worth of um, a document here. And then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so now let's say I have this first section, and I need to put num, uh, you know, the numbering in. Um, so I'm going to double click up here in the header because I want my uh, numbers to be in the header here. If you want them in the footer, then I would suggest that you just click in the footer. Uh, the functionality after you pick one of those two things is going to be essentially the same though. Um, so I'm going to double click up here um, in our header. And what I'm going to do is in this menu that pops up, it's the header footer menu. I'm going to uh, go to page numbers here and I'm going to format page numbers. Now let's say, so this is going to be forward matter, right? So um, I don't want it to actually start with page one, for example. So here where it says number format, I'm actually going to toggle this to lowercase Roman numerals, for example. Now, um, Right now, I'm just going to keep it on continue from previous section. It's the first page in my actual document. Uh, so there's really nothing for it to, you know, uh, go from. So it will just start on uh, at, you know, I <laughs> or, you know, the Roman numeral equivalent of one, essentially. Um, however, if, you, if for some reason you're creating a document and you actually need this to start on, like, say, page four or something, but you still want it to be Roman numerals, then you would just do start at and then I, V right is four. Okay. And then it'll start this first literal page, the numbering on it will say I V and then the next page will be V and then the next page V I six, right, etc. Okay. So we have to start with this. All right. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm just going to keep it this way. That's fine. Again, you could just do continue from previous if you want it to, from zero. I'm just going to just show you how it does this. So I'm going to just do pretend I need this to start at page four. Um, so I'm going to click OK. Now you're going to notice that it didn't actually insert the page number yet. Now this is because we just formatted the page numbering. We For this section of our paper, um, we have not actually inserted the page number. Now we're going to insert the page number. So I'm going to go back up here to page number, um, go to where it says page number, and get this little menu up here. Now keep in mind where it says position. Um, right now it's not letting me choose anything else because I specifically access this menu through the header. If I had access it to, through the footer, it would be the same here, blacked out or not able to be chosen, but it would say footer instead of header. Um, if I access this menu just through my top menu, it would allow me to toggle. Okay, um, so right now um, it has the alignment for the, the numbering uh, to be to the right, and that's where I want it. You know, if there's, if you want it to the left, if you want it to get centered, etc., uh, you can make that uh, selection right here. Okay, uh, once you've made your selections, you're gonna push OK, and you're gonna notice it started right here with uh, four, and the next is five in Roman numerals. Okay, now, so this is the part that the, the 
person who requested this tutorial is really asking about, I think, um, is how then do we go to start numbering um, the next section? So I'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom of this uh, forward matter that we're using. I'm going to enter down once. And I'm going to go up here to, I believe it's layout. Yes, layout. Um, and you're going to find a function here that says breaks. Now I'm going to click this little selection here and scroll down to where it says next page. So then it's going to jump me down to the next page. And you'll notice that it started again at four. So the, the sort of, um, uh, preliminary functionality of this next section is just going to assume um, that you want everything the same as the section that came before it. Um, so we want to change that though. We actually don't want it to be the same. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and double click up here in the new section um, into the header. Okay. And I and notice here that it says same as previous down here on this little tab, right? We actually don't want it to be the same as previous, right? So up here at the top, you'll notice if you're in the header and footer menu that there is likely when it says same as previous, there's going to be something that says link to previous that is currently selected. I want to deselect that because I actually don't want it to link to the formatting of the previous section. I want to create my own <laughs> Uh, my own formatting. So I'm going to click link to previous to unselect it. Okay, and you'll notice that this disappears down here. Now, you'll notice that this page number stays the same, but we are going to change that. Um, I'm going to go over here again to where it says page number, and we're going to format page number. Again, make sure that your cursor and everything is in the header of the new section when you do this, okay? Uh, format page numbers and I'm going to change my number format. So let's say I want to start now with, you know, our typical Arabic uh, numbers, one, two, three, whatever. Um, and I just want to continue from previous, or excuse me, I don't want to start, or uh, excuse me, I don't want to continue from previous section. I actually want to start at page one. Okay, so down here, you're going to click one if it's not already there. It was for me, but you know, just to show you can you can type in this box. <laughs> um, and then you're going to push OK. And you'll notice that it switches to one. Now keep in mind if you didn't have like if you want page numbers here, but you don't actually want page numbers on your first section, you can just remove them. I just showed you that I just did this sort of in the um, in an effort to show you that you can have different, uh, you know, page number, you know, formatting in each section. But if you just wanted your page numbering to start on page one here, then you would just go through those steps in this section after you've created the new section. Um, you don't actually have to go through the process of creating the page numbers in the first section if you don't want them. In fact, I'll just kind of show you if I take them away. Um, so I'm going to double click. I'm going to go out and go back into my header. Um, now that I'm in, back in this section, when I change anything in this header, it's going to apply just to this section. Okay, so um, now that I'm in this section, I'm going to go to page numbers, format page numbers, and then I'm just going to, um, uh, you, you can keep it like this, whatever. Um, I'm going to, or you know what, actually, I think we can just delete that. I'm just going to delete it. <laughs> Sorry, it is it really is that simple sometimes. And I try to make it more complicated than it needs to be. So I'm going to click in here and delete and then click out. And then you'll notice it's gone from here, gone from here. But we still have our page number as one on this next section. And then you can just, you know, go in and do like, you know, chapter one or whatever, right? Um, and then, you know, continue on. Now, if you needed to start like another, like a, you know, a back matter sort of thing, um, you could actually do that as well with the same sort of uh, process where, you know, you would, uh, you know, do a layout break next page, 
and then you could come in here again um, where it says same as previous I don't want it to be previous and then you just go through those same steps again um, and then change it to whatever you know numbering style or maybe you just don't want page numbers at all uh, whatever the case may be but this is in essence how you do that again you will need the desktop version to use this functionality it is not available in Microsoft Office Word 365 online um, unfortunately like I said that's just a watered down version that doesn't allow that kind of <laughs> that kind of functionality so um anyways i hope this helps uh if you have any questions you can put them in the comments and i will try to answer them have a good day